In my puppet movie, the little mouse, Aristotle, is going to be stranded on an island. He decides to build a life raft in order to leave the island. Of course, a puppet cannot build a life raft, so I'm going to do it for him. I decided to model the life raft after the Contiki. I've always been fascinated by the Contiki. It really looks homemade, and that's because it was. So that's the perfect look. I'm going to use branches from my elderberry trees because I have a lot of elderberry trees. And anyway, the upward growing shoots from elderberry trees need to be pruned away. So I will use those. They're perfect, they're strong, they're straight. The technical difficulty of this particular piece of scenery is that I can't actually attach all of the pieces together permanently because in the movie we have to have the impression that Aristotle is slowly building the boat. So here my goal is just to get the pieces ready for shooting. I discovered a little bird nest here in the wisteria vine. And these little beetles, they kind of look like stink bugs, but I think they're cute. Oh, There's quite a like few that one. live in the elderberry tree. Oh, he's hiding. Here he comes. Here he comes. Hey, hello, here. Come meet your other friend. I wonder if these guys know each other. Let's see. I'll just, just take you closer. See if you... No, no contact. No contact. The Contiki had several layers of branches for the base of the boat. I will do something like this as well, so I need a few bigger branches. Professional measuring. Uh, puts me right where this gets fat. Huh? <laughs> okay, so that's going to sort of be part one of our um, Contiki lifeboat. Like the Contiki, our little life raft will have a hut. I form this old box into the right size and I use the same hay technique that I used uh, building Aristotle's little shelter. I use lots of paper mache paste to hold the hay down and paint some of the paper mache paste on top of the hay so that it all sort of clumps together. to interrupt for this this moment where my cat Earl Grey has finally figured out how to climb up into the rafters of the attic. Earl bees. Earl, yeah, you made it. You did. Oops, now climbing down is a different story. Let's see. Come on. Come on. Boop, you did it, Earl. Good job. Meow. Yeah. You're a climber now. How are we going to show this little mouse here, who really can't do much without my help, um, build the boat? Because he, he, he can't, he can't build the boat. He's only a puppet. So what I'm going to do for that situation is create sort of a time lapse. Let's build a time lapse. So basically when I shoot the video, uh, I'll shoot a series of photographs, um, each in the next stage of development. And when that gets glued together, it looks like a time lapse where he's building the boat. Um, let's just try it to see if it's going to work. This, of course, will not be the final because the bottom, the, the base is going to be uh, also looking like scenery and not just a piece of board with which what it is right now. Yeah, and so it's not really ready, but we can at least try it and see how it will work. So that would be something like frame one, frame two, frame three, Frame four, he's taking a little nap. Frame five, frame six. A couple of test shots let me know that it is going to work out somehow. 
I still have to add uh, decoration, the little provisions that Ari will bring along onto the boat with him, more ropes and things that give it more of a nautical look. Um, but I can see that more or less it's going in the right direction. Uh, these videos, like, like this video, like all of my videos, is just to show a little bit of the process. Now I have to go take care of my cat. He's absolutely miserable because he has to stay in, because he's on antibiotics. I don't know what happened, but something happened outside. So, um, I have to go. <laughs> Theirs really don't look like that. <laughs>